Hello, good day viewers. In some of our previous lessons, we have talked about arithmetic progression sequence. Uh, we have solved so many problems under that, but into this tutorial, we're going to be talking about geometric progression sequence. But we need to know the difference between the two. In an arithmetic progression sequence, we are talking about a linear sequence. This is why uh, the rate at which the times changes is constant. But the progression here changes rapidly, exponentially. All right, another thing, in arithmetic progression sequence, we do add a constant common difference to obtain the subsequent term. But in this case, we multiply. And what we use to multiply is called the common ratio. All right, so let me write some key terms here. And uh, every term in that sequence can be donated by Tn. Tn is nothing but nth term. And uh, A, as always, just like an, an arithmetic progression sequence, is the first term. N donates the number of terms. And uh, what again? We have R, which is the common ratio. We use common ratio to multiply a term just to get the subsequent term. Okay. We are going to solve some problems, but first of all, let us drive that general formula used to find every single term in the sequence. Uh, we say Tn denotes the number of terms. So term, when n is 1, we have T1, we have T2 in that order. Up to Tn. We have seen that A denotes the first term. Therefore, here we have A. First term is always A. And I told you we use common ratio to multiply a term just to get the preceding term. So taking first term multiplied by that common ratio, you shall obtain uh, the term number two. A multiplied by R is AR. Take this term multiplied by common ratio, you shall obtain AR to the second power, AR to the third power, AR to the fourth power. But look at something here. You can see the power of R here is one. Okay, let me even start from here. The power of R is four here but term number is five. Can you see that the power of R is one less than the term number? Three less than, uh, uh, one less than four. Two, one less than three. One is one less than two. But here we have nothing. This means that R has a power of zero here, and this has a power of one. So to get N term, we say A R raised to the power of this power minus one because five minus one is four, four minus one is three, in that order, so we have n minus one here. Therefore, the general formula Tn can be written as a r raised to the power of n minus one. This is the formula we need to be using just to find, uh, just to find every time. What about this r? Look at it, every time you take, every, let's use this term, a, R raised to the power of 3 divide by the previous term. We have A, R raised to the power of 2. A will cancel. A, R to the third power divided by R to the second power is nothing but R. And it works for all the terms. So now let us examine a sequence before uh, solving some problems. So first we have GP sequence like this. 2, 4, 8, and 16. And we want to find the sixth term. We want to find the sixth term. We already have four. We don't even have to use formula, though the formula can be used to find even the first term or second term. But since we have four, we only need two extra. We can just take this term, multiply by common ratio to get term number five. Take term number five, multiply by common ratio to get the expected term. But let us examine what is this R. Take any term here. 
16 divided by 8 will give us the same thing as 8 divided by 4 or 4 divided by 2 and this will always give us 2. So 2 is our common ratio. So to find term number 5 because term number 4 is already available we can take term number 4 and multiply it by common ratio and term number 4 is 16 multiply by 2 which is the common ratio and this is 32. The same thing, if you are looking for this term number 6, just multiply term number 5 by that common ratio. Term number 5 is already 32 here. Multiply by 2 and this is equal to 64. Therefore, 64 is said to be the sixth term of this sequence. But sometimes, what if you want to find 500 term of this sequence? You cannot just be multiplying by r, r, r up to 500 terms. All you have to do is to substitute n equal to 500 here, a is equal to 2, uh, r is equal to 2 again, n is 500 minus 1 which is 499, simplify to get that 500 term. So I think let us write our first problem using formula. Um, GP, so first the first term is 3. Um, the second term is 6, 12, 24. Let me say this is our first problem. We want to find maybe a 21st term of this sequence. Let us write the data. E, which is the first term, is 3. Term number we are looking for is 21. So N is 21. What again? We are looking for the common ratio again is needed here. We can take any term here except the first term. You divide by the term before it. We have 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Common ratio is 2. So let us apply the general formula Tn equal to a r raised to the power of n minus 1, where n is 21. So term number 21 is going to be a which is 3, multiplied by r, which is 2, raised to the power of uh, 21 minus 1. This is equal to 3, 2 raised to the power of 20, because 21 minus, minus 1 is 20. So let me use my calculator. You have to take this first power, which is an index. 2 raised to the power of 20. Whatever you get, you multiply by 3. So I have my calculator here, 2 raised to the power of 20. I have, wow, a very big number here. Is it 1,048,500? Um, then you multiply by 3. I have 3,000,000. 3, 145,728. So this is going to be term number 21 in this sequence. Look at how it increases rapidly, exponentially. It will start increasing gradually, gradually, bef but before you know, it gets larger and larger again. Okay, now let us take the last problem we have here. Here is our second problem. It's a word problem. It says if the second and the last term of geometric progression sequence are given as three over four and one divided by 108 respectively, Given that the common ratio is negative 1 over 3, we are asked to find the first term of that sequence and the number of terms present in that sequence. So let's write the data. We are given, okay, first term is unknown. We are looking for that. N is also unknown. We are looking for that. We are given the second term, T2, as 3 over 4. We are also given the last term as 1 over 108. We are given the common ratio as uh, negative 1 over, over 3. Okay, we can use the first term. The general formula, remember, is the n equal to a r raised to the power of n minus 1. And this is equal to, okay, let's substitute here. T2, where n is equal to 2. a is unknown, but r is negative 1 over 3 n there is 2 minus 1. But from the question, this is given as 3 over 4. Now, since we are looking for a, we can multiply 
this and this by the reciprocal of negative 1 over 3 and a will be equal to 3 over 4 then multiply by negative 3 over 1 a is now equal to negative 9 over 4 so we have just answered this question then we can use the last term to find the number of terms so let's do that every term is donated by tn remember tn is equal to um, a raised to the power of n minus 1 so even this one can be regarded as the last term which is equal to 1 divided by 108 r is negative 1 over 3 a is negative uh, 9 over 4 so we have negative 9 over 4 multiplied by negative 1 over 3 rest of the power of negative okay rest to the power of n minus 1 this is equal to 1 divided by 108 let us multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative 9 over 4 leaving negative 1 over 3 raised to the power of n minus 1 to the left and to the right we have 1 over 108 multiplied by negative 4 over 9 that is the reciprocal you flip it upside down but 4 can go into 108 27 times so since we are done with the question i can clean up here um, this here 1 this here 27 so we can now multiply 27 by 9 so where is my calculator 27 by 9 we have 243 so we have 1 divided by 243 negative from the left we have negative 1 over 3 raised to the power of n minus 1 and to the right we have negative 1 divided by 243 243 can be written as 3 raised to the power of 5. So we have negative 1 over 3 here raised to the power of n minus 1 and this is equal to negative 1 over 3 raised to the power of 5. Now you can see the bases are exactly the same. If the bases are the same, we can say now the powers must also be the same. So this implies that n minus 1 is equal to 5. Take this one to the right, it becomes positive. n is equal to 5 plus 1. And finally, n is equal to 6. Therefore, the number of terms in this sequence are 6, where the last term is 1 divided by 108. And the first term is negative 9 over 4. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.